Right, now don't panic. You're riding along, your orange warning light comes on. The first thing that goes through your head is probably something like, bollocks. The next thing is, I'm gonna to have to take this to the dealer to find out what the problem is. That's gonna cost me money. But hang on, there may be an alternative first option. This may be able to help you out. Hi, Tony here, welcome to the channel. And this week I'm gonna take a quick look at something that might be able to save you a little bit of cash in the first instance. Namely this, which is an OBD2 diagnostic scanner. So I've already set the scene. You're running along on your Triumph Modern Classic. The orange engine warning light comes on, and that could be for a whole host of reasons. The only way you're gonna find out what that reason is, is by booking it into the dealer and getting them to run a diagnostic scan. It could be something really serious. It could be something really simple, but you're likely to have to pay for that initial scan to be able to even know what that problem is before you start getting the work done. However, with the use of a wireless OBD2 diagnostic scanner and a bit of free software on your iPhone or your iPad or your Android phone, you can actually do that diagnostic check yourself and you can determine what that problem is, whether it's serious or whether it's something that you may have done if you've been uh, changing or moving anything around on your bike. These scanners are cheap to buy. This one was just £10 and I ordered it from Amazon. I put a link to this scanner in the description box below because I've tested this one and I know that it works. But these little wireless scanners plug into the bike and then you can use a whole host of free apps uh, to be able to run the diagnostic software and be able to check lots of stuff on your bike. Obviously, there might be a critical issue that you have to deal with, but if it's something minor, then at least you'll know what it is and you've got a head start before you even take it through to the dealer. By the same token, if it's something more sinister or something more catastrophic, then at least you'll know exactly what that is and that can determine how you get the bike to the dealers and at least you'll know what work is needed when you actually take it in. So how do these little beauties work? Well, it's very simple and I'm gonna show you now. So this is how easy this job is. You've got your OBD2 interface here, this cable with the plug that's just sat on a plastic catch is your scanner interface. So what we need to do is plug this little baby in. There's a live ignition to this connector all the time on the bike and you'll see you've got a red light on here now to show you that you've got power to this. This is now going and is emitting a Wi-Fi signal. Now you need to get your device. They're pretty straightforward. If you're using these, you go to your settings uh, you choose your Wi-Fi and you'll see on your Wi-Fi you get Wi-Fi OBD2 pop up connect to that okay I'm connected to the Wi-Fi I can close this down and then open up the app and you'll see the ELM connection which is to this and the ECU connection both disconnected press connect and it'll go away and it'll try to connect so it's already connected to the ELM it's now gonna go away and it'll try various different protocols uh, until it finds the right one to connect to the ECU itself. And it might take a little bit of time to do that, so just leave it to do its thing. So once it's had a little bit of time to play, you'll have this connection come up and show we're connected to the ELM and we're connected to the ECU. And now we've got lots of options to look at. So you've got a dashboard, and in this app you can set that up how you want so we've got a rev counter uh, and a coolant temperature uh, you've got various bits and pieces in there you've got voltage uh, measurements and then you've got fuel rates all these sort of bits and pieces so you can have this with the engine running you could use it with uh, the the bike being ridden so you can connect the sensor into the bottom put the seat back on and ride it and if you've got a safe way of holding that you can then take all of those measurements now if you look at this, you've got obviously a lot of options within the app, but if you've got your orange engine warning light on, the thing you're gonna be interested in is the diagnostic trouble codes. So if you open that up, it will then cycle through, see we've got a percentage figure going up, it will then cycle through and it will look for any of those particular trouble codes. Now, 
fingers crossed I shouldn't have anything come up on here so this has gone through and it said no DTC found so it's not come up with any diagnostic error codes which is a good thing for you uh, if it was it would give you that code you would then need to go away and Google what that error code is if it is something minor if you know that's what it is then you're able to just clear that so that the orange light goes off and you can carry on. Within here as well, you also get the opportunity to check the sensors. So you can see all the sensors here. There's a whole host of information that, uh, that you can pick up from here. Now this is a clever little device, uh, but with the free software that you use on these devices here, uh, this is not going to allow you to tune the ECU or do anything like that. You're going to need something much more advanced than this, which is unlikely to be a free app. From my point of view, all I really want to do is check to see what that diagnostic code is and then be able to move on from there. Okay, so there you have it. Pretty straightforward and a pretty useful tool. £10 for this free software and you can kind of see what's going on with the bike you can check all those error codes to see if the ecu is throwing any one of those up you can check all your sensors if you want to check your your revs and your uh coolant temperature and engine temperature and all that sort of stuff you've got the ability to do that as well there's plenty of apps available out there the one that i chose uh, was the one that was available with this there's a qr scan on the back of the box and that brings you to that car scanner app which seems to work really well but there's lots of other ones available now i'm not for one second saying that this can replace what the dealer's diagnostic tool can do what i am saying is you can get that first check done at home very simply find out what the problem is decide how you're going to get the bike to the dealer whether you can fix that yourself whether it's something you can reset and ignore this of course could be something that you're already doing and using i appreciate that but for some of the newer owners and riders that weren't aware that this sort of technology was out there and you could do this at home i hope this has been useful i hope the video has helped you and uh, i thank you for taking the time to watch it and all that leaves me to say is until next time take care ride safe and i'll see you soon bye yeah.